Hey, Sean Jance here, and what I want to do is I just want to highlight a quick trade here on slash TF. So what I like to do is I like to show the trade plan so that you can kind of see the concepts of making winning trades, not just showing you and bragging, like actually showing you and teaching you how to duplicate winning trades day in and day out, and just kind of how, how important and how simple it is to predict market movement and how to... Um, how important it is to pre-plan your trading day in advance, just like I do for you every single evening. I tell you exactly what to do and most, a lot of times what not to do as well. So I want to highlight here the small cap 2000. This is a four hour chart. This is me last night telling you what's going on in the market, right? So the advantage of having somebody like me is you're probably not able to monitor this a lot. So I do all the monitoring for you. I tell you, so you can come in in the evening Right now, I'm going to tell you what's going on, what to look for, what's the state of the market. Are we overbought? Are we oversold? So our slash TF last night this is the four hour chart. And make sure to watch this. We were massively overbought, right? We, we were inside of a four hour candle sell trigger. You can see that we were selling off. We had this trend line that I had drawn for everybody. So everybody should have known to be looking to sell this chart. And it was very, very simple. I made some decent cash selling this chart. And then going into today, what I did is I used that same bias. And if we go to minute 1045, one of the things that I do is I literally draw to the tick where to look for triggers and where to look for sell triggers and buy triggers. So last night I said, hey, our first sell trigger and retracement, we need this chart to retrace to sell it again. Let me change the color here. But we want this to retrace right into value area high. So let me show you that picture here. Uh, from the training, so sell via value area high is number one way. So you learn all of this from the training, you get the trade plans, you get to watch, and then you can come in right into the, the day and make as much money as you want. All you gotta do is watch the training center, watch the trade plans, take notes, and then be prepared. Check this out. I said look for sell triggers if price gets right up there into value area high and you're seeing weakness. Watch this. Watch how awesome this was. So there we were last night. Look at this. We literally go to, like, no joke, to the tick to value area high. You had two chances to grab this. We go to the tick. Let me zoom in so you can even see this. This is a one-minute chart. But, I mean, I, I swear, I don't move this. And you can even get my charts. Unreal. Unreal. So you could have caught it right there, made a nice little cash, and then you could have potentially caught it again and, and rode that sucker all the way down. You know, you could have made $500,000, $2,000 on, on just that move right there. Unreal how it works. You just let the... So here's the here's the cool thing. Would you have sold here? No, because that's not in the plan. That's not value area high. Do you sell here? No. Do you sell here? No, that's not in the plan. That's not value area high. Okay, Sean said, look for sell triggers at value area high. I'm going to try and enter here and I'll put my stop loss somewhere up here. Boom, 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 take profits. It comes back again. Okay, enter again, boom, take profits. You could have made as much money as you possibly want. All you have to do is watch the plans. I tell you literally where to look for triggers. I, I, I have all this on your chart, so I gave you the, the directional bias from the longer time frame, so it's very, very simple when you put it all together. Take time and, and take notes, and then you can come into this trade room, and you can post what you're seeing. Um, you know, Tom, uh, one of our really good traders been in here for a while. He entered right at 9.37, sold the 13.79 daily. So he sold at 9.37. Let's look at his entry time. So he kind of sold a little late, but he knew and he got up here and sold right up there the 13.90, 13.79 daily and then made a nice little profit on the way down. It's that simple. Comment if you have any questions and make sure to reach out to me or Ryan Smith.